Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 2000 Prevost Venturi H345. This is a beautiful coach. Um, it came from previous owners, have had it for eight years, um, and it was kept in an air conditioned and heated garage. Uh, my dad personally went to go pick it up and he said you could eat off of the floors. It was that clean in this garage. Um, the coach only has just under 28,000 miles um, and it's in absolute gorgeous condition. This coach sold new was about $1.2 million. Um, now let's take a look around this thing and I just want to show you the type of condition it's in. We had uh, we have some friends who work for work at a uh, Featherlight Banteri Prevost dealership and they've they took a look at it and went inside it and said they were truly impressed with the condition this coach is in. I doubt there's really any other coach that's in this kind of condition inside and out. I mean, it looks brand new. Now up here you have a lot of uh, chassis side relays and fuses. Now we just had it serviced and inspected at a Prevost dealership. It's got new tires all around, new Michelins, um, new brake pads, new brake calipers, new control arm bushings. Um, we fixed a couple accessory air leaks that the Prevost recommended us fixing. Now in here you have a full pass-through storage and you can put a motorcycle there as well, which is pretty amazing. You don't have to put it on a trailer or anything, you can just put it underneath the coach. That's how deep and tall this storage bay is. It also has a gas detector, so I suppose if your motorcycle is leaking gas, it has a uh, little ventilation fan system. Super nice. Here you have more storage. Now there are accessories that go with this coach. Um, I believe entirely there's some water hoses in here. All kinds of stuff. Now this is on a slide out tray. Look at the condition of the carpet back in there. Check that out. Like I said, with just under 28,000 miles, it's barely been broken in. And of course, this does have a Detroit Series 60 diesel engine. I believe it makes 500 horsepower. And obviously, loads of torque. Now, under here, you have the RVAC household central air system. Um, It'll freeze you to death inside the coach. Pretty amazing stuff, this uh, RVAC. It also has two bus air conditioners to assist with that um, on the really hot days. Now, that is the uh, cooling system, part of the cooling system for your 20K generator, which is located on the other side of the coach. You have inv inverter bypass switches there as well. Let's bring this back down. Check it out, look at the condition of all the doors. The paint here is just in excellent condition. A lot of times they crack. And right there, this is about the only crack on all of the doors that I've seen. This is the cracking I'm talking about. Look at all the other doors. Every single door except that one, there are no cracks. The paint is just perfect. This is the lower part of coaches, what gets beat up all the time. And besides some dust, I mean, the paint on this thing is just stunning. I hand washed this myself. I was so excited about seeing the paint clean. You have more storage up under here. That is pretty cool. Okay. And in here you have your wet bay. Now this has a super long 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. It's a powerful cable master unit. Now the good thing is um, a lot of them you have to assist and the little Teflon bands go bad. This one is in great shape. You just flick it and it pulls it in. You've got Aquaha Bay Heat. Um, of course, this has infinite hot water. Um, it's from the Aquaha diesel fired system. What's cool is it also uses the engine's heat. So if you're driving down the road with none of your heating systems on, it will heat your water up without you having to turn on any hot water system. Um, it'll also use the generator's heat. So it's very efficient. You don't have to fire up your hot water heaters if you have any of your motors running on the coach. And it'll last a couple hours, that heat. Holds it very well. Obviously, you have an outside sink and shower and things like that. Look at the paint on this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. The condition is just excellent. And I mean, the quality of these Prevost coaches, especially the Ventari's, the, the paint job is just beautiful. 
and you just want to sit there and stare at it like I'm doing now and I know I need to continue to move on um, but don't worry I have plenty of pictures on my phone I it's a, it's a heck of a coach I mean all around the more I get to know it the more I realize that this is not an RV this this is this is really something else this is this is its own league the Prevost now check this out massive access to your to your, the side of the engine, which is really nice. Most coaches just give you side, I mean, rear access, which is nice. Um, but this one, you have full side access on this side. Now check this out. Let's up, open this up. Um, can you pull that or just push that tab up? All right, check this out. This entire, the entire rear piece just comes up. So you see the frame. That's amazing. You have full, easy access to your coach and your, I mean, the coach's engine. Now look how clean this motor is. Detroit Series 60, like I said, only 27,000, I think like 800 miles. Very low miles unit. This is no miles on this chassis and this diesel. Now I'm sure if you're looking at Prevos, you know the Prevo is on a monocoque um, chassis. Now what that means is most coaches, most RVs, um, I wouldn't call this an RV, but most RVs have a frame um, and then they have a box built on top by the manufacturer. Now this comes, I think uh, the new Prevost, just a shell of a Prevost costs around 800 grand. Um, but anyways, the shell comes from Prevost and they build the entire body and chassis um, together. So all the frame, everything is built together. Um, monocoque is similar to what they do on an airplane. Everything is built together and formed together. It's not a box on top of a chassis. Um, so the ride quality is just phenomenal. Um, the way this drives is one of the one of the most uh, amazing aspects of the coach. Now this locks. So just push that in and check out the paint. It's just it's beautiful. The lower ends of the paint is just amazing. It even travels up onto the the full side length awnings here. The paint is just, I can't get over the paint. It's truly a beautiful paint. Now, another thing I do like about Prevos is they have very big windows. Well, um, we'll talk about that more when we get inside. Every single shade inside is fully electric, fully automatic. Now in here you have uh, cutoffs for your two, it has two inverters. Now you can run your air conditioning off your inverters and it has an automatic system to where it'll drain your batteries um, and then fire your generator up, charge them up, turn it off, and you can continue to run your air conditioning off batteries, and it's very efficient. Um, and that's one other thing I forgot to mention. We put all new batteries along with the all new Michelin tires, the new brake bush, I mean, new uh, control arm bushings, the new brake pads, and the new brake calipers. Um, so we did do the batteries as well. You have automatic drain systems here, and I think you can drain, I think you can. Uh, drop your tanks from either side which is pretty nice now check this out that's the water pump now i'm sure if you've seen a, an rv the water pump's like that big if that that's a massive water pump and the water pressure is just phenomenal it's better than my house um household water pressure and back here you have a little thing for the water system i believe that takes the air out of the system super cool even electric heater here fresh water fill on both sides yeah, look, you can dump your tanks from either side. So you can dump your black and gray from the right side, or you can dump it from the left side. And they're all automatic. You just push a button, opens it up. Which is, it doesn't sound like much, but it's very nice. Because um, if you have to pull in somewhere in tight, you don't want to have to turn your 45 foot coach around. You can just dump it from either side. Now in here, you have a microwave. You've got a little ice maker freezer here. It's an automatic ice maker. All kinds of storage. Got outlets up here. More storage. I believe this is on a hinge. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Under here you have uh, some counter space that comes out and even more storage. Lots of engineering has just gone into this one little compartment. It's pretty amazing. They fit counter space, all kinds of storage. You have a microwave, ice maker, all compacted in this little area here. Now up under here, this is where your generator is. And I really like the, uh, the chrome on this generator cover. 
super cool. Open it up and there's your 20 kilowatt power tech generator. Runs very well. And now notice the generator is sitting on airbags. So there's an accessory pump. So when your engine's not running, it'll hold your accessory um, airbags and air pressure up. So it sits there, you can't feel the, you cannot feel the generator from inside. Super quiet, super insulated, um, pretty amazing. And that's your comp air compressor, your accessory air compressor right there. Just to that. So much quality just goes into those little generator holders or the compartment. TV, now check this out. Here are your main awnings. One touch systems. So you just click it out and check the paint out. I want you to take a look at this. They continue to stripe on the pieces of awning that go out. <laughs> That's pretty. That's just little things that you see. They didn't have to. You really wouldn't notice if they didn't continue the stripe onto that awning. It's just, when you see things where they just went out of their way just because, and it's not a super noticeable thing, it really is a mark of just, a mark of excellence. And that's really what Prevo is about. This is the upper stratosphere. This is, this is I wouldn't even call this the upper stratosphere. This is the peak of motor coach, motor coach and RV camping. In fact, you'd probably insult people who own Prevos by calling it an RV. This thing's basically a yacht on wheels. It's pretty amazing. Now in here you have your TV, outside TV. I would personally take that out and put like a flat screen out here. This is from 2000. Those are the only things that remind you this coach is from 2000 is seeing the older TVs. And you've got a phone out here too. Look at this. Everybody's got cell phones now. You've got a phone. There's our RV tech there. <laughs> You got a blau punked outside uh, stereo system. It's a pretty high-end stereo system. Got these fold-out chairs. They fit nicely in this little rack down here. Click that, storage. And you've got these, there are a couple of remotes like this that control the TV systems. So nice. These are on hinges and I'm really curious. I don't break anything but I, I think that comes out I'm not too sure people who know more about Prevo and probably and are watching this video are probably laughing but um, you know I'm just being honest I don't know everything now in here you have a refrigerator I believe this runs off 12 volt or 120 it should it's pretty nice so not only do you have a microwave counter space out here you've got a freezer an ice maker Plenty of storage, sound system, TV out here. Here's the other side of that full pass-through storage. There are uh, fluids in here that go with the coach. That's amazing. I want to shut these, take a, take a step back and look at these compartments. They all go straight up, really nice. It gets completely out of your way and they're easy to use. You don't bang your head on it, it's not in the way. Always very gentle with this. I don't want to. This type of coach, you know, it's you don't see this kind of every day. The condition is just phenomenal. It's like it's like a time capsule from 2000 of a Prevost Vantari. This could be in a museum. The kind of the kind of uh, condition it's in. I take a step back and look at these full length. It's almost nearly full length awning. This is back in 2000. Let me remind you. This thing has technology that high-end coaches are barely getting to nowadays in 2017, 2018. Now you've got a doorbell intercom system here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It says VIP H345. You can talk to the people who are sitting there. There's a camera there as well for you to see who's at your door. You got a keypad system. I think, look at this. Back in 2000, they had an RV. You have keyless entry for the, all the compartment doors too. Unlock and lock it with your button. And this is not some flimsy little lock. This is like a deadbolt that comes out when you hit lock, which is pretty amazing. You don't see, it's not a little tiny normal lock that you see um, when you hit a button. It, it's, it's a deadbolt that comes out on your door. Check out the paint on the front of this coach. This is one of the biggest indicators of how well maintained and what kind of condition this thing is in. 
You don't see any rock chips. You don't see any, you know, scuffs. I mean, there's a couple minor little scratches that would polish out down here. But besides that, the front of this coach is just excellent. I mean, it's an exceptional condition. Normally, you see rock chips. That's very common. It's a used coach. In the end, as clean as it is, and as much as I believe this could be sitting in a museum somewhere, and it did come from someone who had a very high-end collection and a very nice, very nice garage, and the way this thing's been pampered, it still is not perfect. It's a used coach with 27,000 miles, as low miles as it is. It's still been driven a little bit, just a tiny bit. <laughs> but there's no rock chips. You normally see that. Um, must have been protected. Somebody probably had a bra on it, or yeah, somebody must have had a bra on it. Now that I see it, look at that, there are buttons there. That's what happened. They had a bra, protected the front end of this coach. Because that's where I'd expect any frock. Just besides that, take a look around. Just look at this. I encourage you, I want people to come nitpick this coach because I'm trying to do that right now and it's very difficult to do because there's really nothing to nitpick about it. The paint is in excellent condition. The shine is phenomenal. I can, I mean, I see my reflection in there. And it's been rained on twice. I cleaned it two days ago because it's been raining so much. I've been trying to do this video here in Greenville, South Carolina. It's been raining a lot, so it's a little dusty and you can still, the reflection is phenomenal. Every light works. You've got a nice backup camera. This has a hitch view camera as well. Side mount radiated, of course. Look at the paint on this thing. Let me remind you, this is 18 years old. This is as old as I am. And the condition is just amazing. It's in better shape than I'm in. Anyways, I can make a 45 minute video just talking about how amazing the outside paint is. Um, let's go ahead and take a step inside the coach and uh, show you around there. All right, let's take a step inside this coach and check out all this beautiful tile. It goes all the way down into the steps. You've got mirrors, all these little accent lights to light up your walkway when you come in the coach. Beautiful woodwork. The interior of this coach is truly amazing. You've got to just take a step back and look at it. Now the grout, interestingly, is made out of, uh, this is, I think this is copper. It's got a copper grout. It is the tile in this coach is gorgeous and as you've seen it's in such good condition um, it's near perfect we've covered everything with plastic here um, so even without our shoes we don't want to you know we're caretakers we're temporarily caretakers of this coach um, but we want to protect it as best we can before the new owners um, who will actually be using the coach get it so we put this plastic over this um, take a look at this countertop that light there it's got this gold, like shiny, it's like a metallic little line that goes through there. It's beautiful. Let me open this up a little bit. A nice stove there. they have got a dual sink here. I'm not gonna open that up because it's covered in plastic, but it's all in obviously perfect condition. You have your thermostat, your main air conditioner. You have uh, all kinds of lights for your display lights, galley work. Uh, there are so many buttons, I'm not gonna get too far into it, but um, let's go over some details I like to talk about. The couch is new, the previous owners put that in, um, along with these two chairs here and the chairs for the dinette. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. Now check out the wood that goes back behind the, 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 the chairs, behind the couch. I mean, the amount of detail and just beautiful craftsmanship that's gone into the, this coach is just amazing. Now this thing has a touchscreen little device to control your surround sound system, your TV. Um, of course those systems have their individual remotes as well, but this thing controls everything. It's pretty cool. Back in 2000, there's a touchscreen remote to control your surround sound. You can go into your AM, FM, play music. It's got a fantastic Bose surround sound system. I'm turning the volume down from there. Super cool system. And like I said, you can, and check out the TV. So you look over there. The TV comes down from the front. You just push this button. It's a Fujitsu TV. Super high-end TV.
and the button's right here behind this couch or behind this uh, recliner chair. Really nice TV comes down from there. You've got your Bose surround sound, the main units right there. There's a lot of bass, really good subwoofer. You got speakers all around in this area. Look at the couch, look back behind you. All the little details in this thing are amazing. Now this does have a lounge shade, just turns into a bed here. You know what, let me find, uh, here we go, forward indirect lights. Look at the indirect lights. Now this is the thing, if you know Prevos, you know after a while these go bad and they start to turn yellow. Um, and they'll be this gross kind of brown yellow color. These are in excellent shape. They're not, they haven't been used for one million hours or something. Um, everything about this coach, it's, it's, it's been, it's like a time capsule. I mean, it's, it's been taken care of for so long, 18 years, and it does not show its age. And the interior of this coach with the updated, look at these seats here, with the updated seats for your, your dinette table there, it, it really looks like a new coach. I mean, this looks like a new coach, um, except better than it was in 2000 with the better seats, the better recliners, better couch. Um, really nice. You see all kinds of mirrors, massive refrigerator here. This is like a household refrigerator. Automatic ice maker, of course, filtered water. Looks like it's been never used. I mean, look at this. Mirrors everywhere. Check out the pantry space here. Plenty of pantry space. That's an extra filter cartridge for the refrigerator. Got more here. All of the doors and compartments in here have these little clicks. So when you're camping, you can just leave it. So it's like being in a house, you just pull it open. But when you, when you start to move, you just click it in. Now it's locked. Super nice. And over here. Like I said before, this coach has two inverters. Now these are the remote controls for them. Um, if you decide to purchase the coach, I'll walk you through and show you how to operate it. Um, these are very high-end systems. You can do a lot of um, very powerful and very convenient things. Um, but you can, one of the big features is you can run your air conditioning off your batteries, which is really nice. You hear all, all your main circuits. You have what's coming in. This thing is currently plugged into 50 amp shore power. Um, you have your load, what it's using. It's only using 24. Super nice. You have generator start here, panel lights. You can turn that on, on and off. There are a bunch of spares, which is nice. It's got a huge, huge water tank. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, look at this. Little compartment door here. So I guess this is perfect. There's an outlet in there. You can put your coffee maker right there. Just slides on a little drawer, put it back. It stays plugged in. And I think, what is this? Ah, oh, isn't that cool? You can barely see it. And it just clicks in. The one thing is, look at the condition of all the lamin on these cabinets. You do not see this on a coach this old. I mean, it is beautiful. The glue is in excellent condition. Like I said, kept in an air conditioned and uh, heated garage. That's the biggest factor about keeping those up. I'll take a step back and just kind of look at all the lights on this coach. The fiber optics are working fantastic. Right now, I've set them on purple. You can change the color to whatever color, or a lot of colors. Um, it has like blue, white, all kinds of cool colors. Um, but right now I've set them on purple. You can have it changing constantly if you'd like that, but they're in good shape. And that's what I want to point out is they're all working. There are no burnt spots, faded spots. Fiber optics are so much nicer than LEDs too, because LEDs, um, as easy as they are to install and as easy as they are to control, um, they're little dots. Whereas fiber optics, I know they're much more expensive and you can tell they didn't slack. So they put a much more expensive system in here. Uh, although I don't even know if LEDs were that available back then or available at all, but these go, these are continuous. So the light is continuous, it's not dots. Really neat. Let's take a step back in the bathroom here. There are accent lights everywhere. I mean, down there, you have accent lights, you have accent lights in here, and that's the same for the front of the coach with uh, between the this uh, stone here and then your laminate couch, um, wood counters, I mean, uh, drawers and stuff. There's a little gap and they fit accent lights up in there. Same for down under there. Now I like this. They have pl 
plenty of counter space. Sometimes you see uh, setups where there's two sinks, and that's personal preference, but my preference is to have one sink. It's a very nice ceramic sink, um, but you have plenty of counter space and a whole lot of medicine cabinet space as well. Oh, hold on, I forgot one light. There we go, Cali. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these little, they're like diamonds on the, the faucets, the, the controls. They look really cool, and they reflect all kinds of light. It just, they look super luxurious. Everything about this coach just seems really luxurious, really nice. You're in here, you have all these mirrors, super shiny. You've got this glass, beautiful laminate here. It's amazing. All kinds of cabinet space. You've got a hamper down here. You've got some extra light bulbs and stuff that go with the coach. They're brand new. I think that's for up under, yeah, that's for under there. Sometimes these come off, you just have to screw them back on. I'll screw that back on in a bit. But you have your washer dryer combo here. Chandelier. Oh, that must be the brightness for your chandelier. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, it is. I don't know why the brightness would be back here, but that's where it's located. Indirect lights. Oh, you can turn them way up or way down, okay. So you can control how bright your indirect lights are. Wow, look how good these are. Look at the condition they're in. No burnt sauce whatsoever. They look, they look amazing. Wow. I can't get over the condition of this coach. It's in just excellent condition. You would not ever in a million years, unless you really know Prevo and the things they put on these coaches back in 2000, you'd never know that this is a 2000 model. Look at the tile. You get a nice porcelain, uh, it's like a household type toilet there. Look at the accent lights, even in the bathroom. And the little diamond knobs. Nice stainless steel sink. You have some medicine cabinet space there. Just space down here. Even the little toilet paper holder has that little diamond thing on it. It's so cool. <laughs> nice fan. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this is like a leather type. The ceiling is leather. It's leather and, this, uh, and mirror. All the materials are so nice. You've got tile, stone. You've got really nice leather, high-end wood. Everything is just to the max quality. And you have these free, luscious towels that go with it, too. And my girlfriend loves this coach because she can just constantly look at herself in all the mirrors. <laughs> all right, let's take a step into the bedroom. Oh, but before, one of my favorite parts of this coach is the shower. Look at this thing. Isn't this, this is a heck of a shower. This is, this is, <laughs> this is better than any shower that I've ever been in. It's not some massive shower, although it is very big for an RV shower. Um, look at this back here, all these the uh, fiber optics there. And it's like a, there's like a house up there. There's like a little picture, you got trees, a little waterfall. It's like a little creek down here. Really cool. And it's really neat to see it change colors too when you have it on the color changing mode. All this beautiful, look, they continued. I love what they did, they continued the same stone that they have on the floor everywhere. So it's just stone, glass, and more stone all throughout here. And mirror on the top. Two, oh, look at all the little, the diamond things. Oh, it's so cool. This is all, this is all stone. That's not plastic. All of this intricate stuff is made out of stone. One thing I do like is it's got a fan in the shower. Now, that sounds really nice to be able to take a hot shower but not have all the steam to where you can't breathe. Great idea. I don't know why people aren't doing that, but that's pretty cool. Now let's take a step into the bedroom. Look at this shag carpet and check out the accent lights, even under there, under the bed, under every little piece of furniture in this coach. There is everywhere they could fit. They put lighting. It's pretty amazing. And you have all kinds of different combinations. You can just run the fiber optics and it lights the coach up beautifully. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, it has all kinds of cool ways. You can play with the indirect lights, 
or the just the main um, lights. Really nice. The bedroom has its own thermostat. This is bus air in the rear, um, which is nice. You can have the rest of the coach at a different temperature. If you like to sleep at a different temperature, you can quickly change it. It's right next there. Now you have these dimmers on these uh, reading lamps here, which is super nice. And check out all the wood here. Look at all this wood. It goes back behind. It even goes behind the bed. You can't even see it. Yeah, it does. That's the kind of quality I'm talking about here. You can't see this piece of nice dark wood here because it's behind this beautiful leather piece that's the headboard of your bed. However, they still finished it and put this beautiful piece of wood under there. That's, again, just little touches of quality um, that you only see at this, this type of coach. The woodwork is one of my favorite things about this. The color combinations are beautiful. The condition's amazing. Um, there are a couple other things I want to talk about in the kitchen that I, it's completely glazed over. Everything's so compact, you don't know it's there. Like, for instance, in the front, I forgot to talk about the fact that this coach has a dishwasher and it has a trash compactor. However, you'd never know that just by walking by the compartments. Everything's compact and simple, but it still has all the features, amazing features. You've got a TV back here too. And you've got your, uh, it's got a hi-fi stereo system as well. There are two big speakers. Oh, wrong, wrong side. More storage down here. There's all kinds of storage throughout this coach. I'm not talking about all of it. Um, and I say this a lot in my videos because if I got into all the storage compartments, um, you'd honestly get very bored. Because who wants to watch a video about a guy talking about a bunch of storage compartments? It has a lot of storage. There you go. All right, so here's your dishwasher. Now, this is one of the only, now that I think about it, this is the only flaw on the entire interior um, is this. The, cos this is the only cosmetic flaw is we have that piece. My dad has it. I don't know where he put it. Um, I'll find it. We just need to glue that back in. It's just a piece of wood with the laminate on top. This is your dishwasher here. I can't get it out, but I'm not. See, it's got a lock, so if you press that button, hold it, it locks. So when you're going on the road, it doesn't fly out. This is a dishwasher. I don't know what's down here. Oh, lots of storage. Look at all the wood. Really nice. See the accent lights down there? Gosh, this coach is beautiful. Now in here you have a trash compactor. I've never seen one of these in a house, let alone an RV. So you put your trash in and from the uh, item description, it, uh, it compacts it. <laughs> you know, I would have never known a trash compactor compacted trash, but all you do is turn it on, do that. I'm assuming the little thing comes down and presses your trash. All the storage in here, look, I was talking about how boring it would be about a guy talking about storage and here I am talking about storage. All right, here's a quick demonstration of the fiber optics and something called the starlight panel, um, which is in the bedroom. Now I'll go up there and check it out. They're little things, they're little, uh, I think they're pieces of the fiber optics um, and they're all throughout this, the, the reflective, uh, the, the, the mirror panel on the ceiling of the bedroom and they twinkle. They sit there and change colors and twinkle. Now in the camera, I looked at the, the shot. You really, you can kind of see it, but in person you can, you can just sit there and lay it and stare at it. It's so cool. It just sits there and flashes and twinkles. Now I've turned all the lights off in the coach. So look, come over here and just take a look at all the fiber optics. See it in there? Let me, hold on, stay there for a second. I'm gonna hit, there's a button called fiber optics color. And when you press that, they start changing colors. So now you see it's green. Oh my gosh, look in the bedroom. Now there's, uh, that's one of my favorite colors, is that blue. And there's white. And you can stop it on any color, any of these colors that you'd like. Wow, come look up, look in the shower. That's amazing, see that picture? 
All right, there's a button in the front and a button in the back, and it's called Shade Master. Now, every single shade in this coach is electric, and there are individual buttons for every single one. Um, however, there's one button called Shade Master. I'm gonna press that here, and you'll see every single shade go up. And a lot of light's gonna be put in this coach. Check it out. That's amazing. It's so cool to watch. I'll come up here and look at this. All these big main doors, and look how big the windows are. You can see everything in here. <laughs> it's so cool. This big one right here. Up here, you've got multiple windows. Gosh, you feel like you're just surrounded by windows. It's amazing. I love these front, the front window. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. You feel like you're in a building. There's so many windows. Now you've got a car in, the GPS, navigation. That's for the, we'll talk about the cockpit later. But isn't this thing gorgeous? None of the lights are on right now. Just the windows are massive. What a beautiful coach. If you need any more information on it um, or would like to come take a look at it, please call or text me at 864-376-5600. This, uh, this is truly a one-of-a-kind coach. Um, there's nothing in this kind of condition. The, uh, the paint job is excellent the interior is exceptional it's got nice upgrades that make it look like a newer prevo um but in the end this is really this is a collector's piece this thing is amazing um, anyways that will conclude this video um, we're going to get a test drive video up as well so hopefully you stick around for that i'll go through the cockpit for the co-pilot and pilot um, and talk about all the buttons and things you can do both the pilot and co-pilot seats are on airbags um, so not only do you have an airbag chassis to float on, you have chairs that are on airbag suspension to float on as well. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day. All right, I want to go over an overview of the cockpit on this coach. Um, so over here you have a fast idle button. Um, you've got plenty of light switches or hazards here, mirror, mirror heat. You've got separate individual mirror control switches. Cruise control is super easy to press. You've got resume, decelerate, your window button, electric of course coupled over here a nice little storage compartment you got the air leveling system right there you got the tag dump release right there four shade buttons for all the shades up here you do have um, sunscreen shades as well as the main shades um, you have your backup camera here you have it along with a hitch camera um, so you can keep a close eye on your hitch as well it has a GPS system built in um, older one, look at that, look at the date on that, 11, 12, 98, that's when that, uh, the, that's how old that system is. This is a 2000 model, I don't know why it says 98, different disc or something. You can switch that off, you've got your joystick for your, it's got a, um, a spotlight up top, average um, fuel mileage, things like that, cornering, docking, um, settings for everything. Anyways, that's the quick overview of the cockpit. All right, we're getting on the road now with this 2000 Prevo Ventari H345. Now, around town, um, I'll talk a little bit more about that on the way back to our storage facility, but for now we're getting on the highway, and this thing has a lot of power. Um, we aren't anywhere close to the highway. We're already at 55, 60 miles an hour now. Whole lot of power. Really nice feeling indicator stock. I'm at 70 miles an hour. Click cruise. Annoyingly, a dump truck is now in front of me. Um, but he's accelerating off, thankfully. Now, this thing is extremely stable. Um, there's none of this sway crap. In the back, most RVs, they rattle, all kinds of little things, you know. It's, it's very, very well put together. No rattles from the back. Um, it's amazing the way this thing drives. You're so isolated from the wind outside. Wind noise is minimal. If you took a decimal meter, I guarantee it that it was so much quieter than anything else that was non monocoque The l level of isolation in here is fantastic. I'm just sitting here going 70, got my cruise control set, and one of the best driving coaches and chassis built for a bus. This dump truck is uh, not powerful enough, so I'm having to slow down. 
plenty of power. It was holding 70, no problem. It didn't even upshift or downshift. I mean, horn is great. Get a good backup camera. I'm sitting here on an amazing chassis floating on my air ride cockpit uh, pilot seat here. I'm getting an amazing view. The coach drives fantastic. I mean, this thing is just, this is next level. I encourage you to check out forums on these coaches. Please check out the forums. If you are seriously interested in buying ours or buying any Prevo, just check out the forums um, and see what owners think. Nine times out of 10, you, you meet a Prevost owner, they've had Prevost, not a Prevost. Um, they're proud to recommend them and they love their coaches. And there's a reason, these, these things, this is the top of motor coaching right here. Everything is top notch. This has the maximum technology. Um, this is ahead of its time. I mean, 2000, this has technology that high end coaches are not, are, they don't even have in the high end coaches nowadays. It's a phenomenal coach. It drives excellently. The new brakes, the new Michelin tires, the new bushings all add and help to that. Um, it got a, it got a service it needed, the new batteries, things like that. What an excellent driving coach. What a machine this is. Anyways, if you need any more information um, or would like to schedule an appointment to come view the coach, please call or text at 864-376-5600. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to earn your business.